What do you need to know about living in Linwood, Washington? I'm gonna break that all down for you from an insider's perspective in today's video. My name is Mike Novak from the Novak Real Estate Team, part of Real Brokerage, and we run a local real estate team right here in Sonoma County. We service all the states within Sonoma County. If you're thinking about buying or selling real estate, all of our contact information is down below. We're the number one ranked team in the county for sales going all the way back to 2017. If you're thinking about buying or selling, definitely reach out to us. We'd love to be a resource for you. But enough about that. Let's talk about Linwood. So why do people live in Linwood? Like, why would you want to buy there? A lot of it really starts with the geographic location of Linwood. Like I'm gonna put up a map on the screen and I'm gonna kind of explain to you how this makes just perfect geographical sense if you live in one of two cities. If you work in Seattle or you work in Bellevue, it kind of like wishbones up into the shape up to Linwood up here, okay? And the drive time is pretty similar. You're looking at like 17 to 20 miles to downtown Bellevue, downtown Seattle. And the drive time is very dependent on the time of day, but it can be as light as half an hour, it can be as long as an hour and a half. It just really depends on how bad that commute is, how bad the traffic is of the day. But the reason, the number one reason that people buy a home in Linwood is because they work in Seattle. Seattle or in Bellevue, and they don't want to pay a million and a half dollars for a house. You go into Linwood, all of a sudden you can buy a house for eight, nine hundred thousand dollars, and it's a really great home, and you just have this modest commute to get to downtown. So there's also people that work partially at home remote and that partially also work in office in the downtown areas. And if that's you, Linwood would definitely be a place that you want to look at. So what do you need to know about Linwood if you're thinking about possibly living there? Other than just location and the commutes, which are oftentimes the most important things to people that are evaluating the city, you definitely want to know kind of the insider scoop on that. The number one thing beyond just the location that you should know about is the Alderwood Mall. Alderwood Mall is like an anchor of Linwood. You'll see it right off of the I-5 and you can see it just all the shopping there. That's really like the pull of Linwood. There's not like a downtown per se area of Linwood, like not like an old school downtown area with like a main street and restaurants and things like that. There's a lot of retail shopping, but Alderwood Mall is kind of that anchor, that hub of activity. There's a huge movie theater there as well. There's a lot of restaurants tied in there. There's now a lot of apartments and condos that have been built up around it. So the Alderwood Mall is like the big anchor of Linwood when you're thinking about just kind of the geographical layout of it. And it's located, like I said, right off of I-5, very easy to get to. And if you're not shopping down in Seattle, it's probably the best shopping in Snohomish County, other than maybe the outlet malls up in Tulalip if you're looking for that outlet mall type experience. Okay, so I talked about the location of Linwood and the drive times and commutes. Then talked about the Alderwood Mall. What else do you need to know? Well, just a couple insider things that you should also be aware of. Linwood has a big convention center and you'll see that when you're kind of on your way to the mall. There's a lot of conference style events that happen at this conference center, just as the name implies. So oftentimes you're going to see big happenings going on there and for good reasons. It's a beautiful modern facility. It's not that old and it looks really stunning. So definitely check out the Linwood Conference Center. Also check out the Linwood Ice Rink. There is an ice skating rink in Linwood. Take the kids there. Totally worth doing on you know winter day, take them out there, grab some hot cocoa, and take them to go ice skating. There's also a fair amount of parks in Linwood. The Inner Urban Trail weaves itself into part of Linwood as well. And then there's the Meadowdale Playfields, Scriber Lake Park, South Linwood Park, Lindale Park. There's a lot of parks in Linwood, and that kind of like natural open space is a big reason that people are attracted to it, okay? So definitely the outdoors part of Linwood is a pretty attractive reason to move there. Last thing to mention is just the schools. The schools are not bad in Linwood. Some of them funnel into Edmonds, which is actually a little bit better, but some of them are just in Linwood. Totally fine. You can go to greatschools.org. We can throw the link on down below in the description down below, and you can just Google search the schools for Linwood and see what they are rated. Most of my clients really shoot for like a six, seven plus on school ratings if they've got kids that are gonna be going to school, if that's like an important consideration for them. So those are the most important things that I think you need to know about Linwood. You need to know about the geographical location because that's really, really important. We need to know why people move there. You need to know about Alderwood Mall and how it kind of like anchors that area and kind of dictates where all the traffic is at and all those types of things. And then of course, you need to know about the parks and the schools. Like these are some really, really important things to know if you're valuing Linwood as a possible area to move to. The last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw up on the screen, just kind of a graph laying out for 
you the value of Linwood Real Estate over the last five years. You can see investing in real estate has been a really good option and choice for a lot of people. You can see home prices run like the low 400s going back about five years. And now, you know, they're closing into kind of like in that mid 700s range. So really rapid appreciation, but still significantly better value than you have right now in Seattle. The average home price in Seattle is almost like a quarter million dollars more than what it is in Linwood. In Bellevue, it's significantly more than that. So that's a big impact and a big reason why people decide to plant their roots in Linwood. It's kind of why it's called a bedroom community because a lot of people just live there, but they actually work in somewhere else in a different area. Okay. So if you got questions about Linwood, want to know anything about it, best restaurants, best places to go, put a comment down below. I will uh, respond back to it and try to fill you in with my opinion on that just as a local. And of course, if you're thinking about buying or selling real estate, definitely reach out to us. All my contact info is below. Love to be a resource for you. Mike Novak.